In this video, we're going to go ahead and set up our variables. And we said that we need three variables. So let's go ahead and look back at our other project. They were section one, section two, and section three. And basically those were used as the true false triggers that identify whether we show the green um, check mark or not. So let's go ahead and go into our project variables. These are going to be user variables, so we're going to add a new variable and we're going to call the first one section one. And that value is going to be false because that's the default. When it comes in, you have not actually visited the section, so we want it to be false. You can put a description here for our purposes. We're not going to do that right now, but essentially what it is is when the user clicks the button and sets the trigger, section one variable will change to false. So let's go ahead and save that. You can see it shows up here now. So we'll add another one. Section two. And again, the value is false. We'll save that. And there it is down there. It shows up there. So let's add a third one, which is section three. And the value there is false. So we'll save that. So we have our three variables. So now we were going to put the text boxes on the screen that are going to house the variables so that we can see them. So we're going to add a text caption here. And in that, we're going to click this little X over here. And what that does is it allows us to select a variable for that. So we want that to be section one. So there's our variable. We'll just put that right up here. Now at the end, we would be deleting these. They're not going to be in the final product for the learners. So now we're going to copy this. We're going to paste a new one in and we'll change this to section two and we'll do that again here for the third one which is section three. So now when we preview this these fields should prefill with those default labels in there of false. And there you go false, false, false. And when I click these and go back, they don't change because we haven't assigned any kind of action to change them yet. So in our next video, that's what we're going to start addressing. We're going to build the advanced actions that are going to change these triggers from false to true and show the check marks.